Coronavirus Diary for May the 12th, 2020, Tuesday. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 14. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Today's psalm is from Psalm 145. All thy work shall give thanks to thee, O Lord, and all thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and tell of thy power to make known to the sons of men thy mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. There's more than I can say today in these readings. But let's talk about the gift of peace. The gift of peace is not something that comes because you have the right circumstances. The gift of peace is when you're united with the heart of God, which is love itself. You can go on a prolonged vacation in the most peaceful part of the world, yet you can come home with a heart full of conflict or bitterness or hatred. We all know that's to be. That's true. We also know that you can be in a concentration camp, but if you're united with Christ, you have peace even if you're being tortured. So this is what the peace which passes understanding is about. This is what the peace of Jesus is, the peace he gave to his disciples and passed on to us. And so this is the message of the gospel. This is what the gospels all about. And for that reason, we can praise God and we can be very grateful to God for who he is.